Welcome back. In this chapter, we will explore the advanced features of Swiper.js. In this lecture, we will focus on adding autoplay functionality to our slider, allowing it to automatically transition between slides without user interaction. Swiper.js makes it easy to enable autoplay with just a few configuration options. So let's dive into the code and see how we can add autoplay to our slider. So first make sure you have your basic HTML for the slider and its slides like we check always. So this is the must thing that you have to double check every time you work on the swiper.js and then make sure that you have initialized the swiper.js class here and let me make it simple so that we could focus on one thing at a time and let me remove this as well save it so now as we want to enable the autoplay so here there are two options one is just add the autoplay set it to true and it will keep playing it okay and the second option is that you can add an object after the autoplay as the value of the autoplay and that object will contain several options for the autoplay let me quickly show you the documentation part as well that is talking about this so here you will find some information about the autoplay so here as it is saying object with the autoplay parameters are boolean true to enable with the default setting okay so if you add true then it will enable it with the default setting so if you want to specify the object in the autoplay value then you will have all of these options available to use that you can use so let's try them okay so first let's add the autoplay true and test it you can see that it slides to the next slide after a few seconds so it is following its default value so let me show you the default value so here in this documentation the default you can see the default column that is telling you the default values for all of these options so the default delay is 3000 and you can see other default values as well so if you want to customize the default value by the way there is other way to customize these options as well by using the html attributes as well now let's replace this true value with an object and here i will add delay and let me reduce it to 300 and save it and let's test it you can see now it is very fast okay you can increase the speed further you can keep it you can keep changing it until you are satisfied and then we have another option here that is disable on interaction so default value is true that's mean if you do any kind of interaction with the slider the autoplay would be stopped so let's test that let me reduce the speed further thousand okay now you can see it is sliding but as soon as i click on the next slide so for some reason this default value is not working so i think the default is false so let me copy that and change the behavior and now i will add true so whenever i will interact with that it will stop auto playing so i just slide it to the next slide and now you can see that the sliding animation has stopped and it will not auto play anymore okay and similarly so in this example we enable autoplay by adding autoplay option to the swiper.js configuration. The autoplay option is an object that accepts several parameters to customize the autoplay behavior. The delay parameter specifies the delay in milliseconds between each slide transition. So in our example, the default value of the delay was 3000 as we saw in the documentation, which means that slider will automatically move to the next slide every three seconds. But we made changes in the delay value and specified different values to test then we have the disable on interaction parameter that determines whether autoplay should be disabled when the user interacts with the slider so setting it to the false will allow autoplay to continue even after user interaction you can adjust these autoplay options based on your preferences for example you can increase or decrease the delay to control the speed of the autoplay 
transitions like we did or you can set the disable on interaction to true if you want to autoplay to pause when the user interacts with the slider. In addition to the basic autoplay options, Swiper.js provides more advanced configurations to fine tune the autoplay behavior. Let's play with some options here. So after that we have stop on last slide. So this is also very interesting. If you set it to true, then after last slide it will stop. So let's wait for the last slide. All right, so I have made some changes. I have removed the loop from here and here I have specified the stop on the last slide. So if I do that, it will stop on the last slide and it will not go to the first one. Let me increase the speed so that I could quickly show you. So you can see it is going towards the last slide and once it is on the last slide it will not go back to the first one but if you set it to false then it will not stop on the last slide and it will go back to the first one okay you saw that it moved back to the first one now let's add another one that is reverse direction by default it is false but you can set it to true then it will rotate in the opposite direction you can see it started from the 10 and going towards backwards so we also have pause on mouse enter so as soon as you hover your mouse on it it should stop it true now let's reload it see I just hovered my mouse on it and the animation has stopped if I move my mouse out of this it should start it should resume the sliding I think that's all about this autoplay feature. So feel free to experiment with these advanced autoplay options to customize the behavior of your slider according to your needs. Remember to test your slider with autoplay enabled to ensure it functions as expected and provides a smooth user experience. In the next lecture, we will explore how to implement lazy loading for images in our swiper.js slider to optimize the performance. So if you have any questions or want to share your own creative implementations of autoplay in swiper.js, feel free to leave a comment below. Let's make our sliders more engaging with the power of autoplay.